So, aside from the fact that it's potentially lucrative for so I mean, I go through this ceremony. The answer to I believe is obvious. No, no. Svar, you do on a bed. Exercise in Hakarat I have to. Creates an awareness within us that all that we have, including especially this beautiful boy, this precious gift, is a gift from Hashem Yitbarach. And I think that we gathered celebrating this, this tremendous, significant, momentous simcha together. Really, this exercise in Hakarat Tov has special significance this afternoon considering all that Simcha and Rachel went through to bring this beautiful boy into this world. It's a lesson in Akarat Tov and all Simcha and Rachel, all of the hard work, the tremendous effort invested, the tefillot, the tears, nine months of carrying this child around, the labor. This afternoon, Mitzvah Gidon Aben reminds us that all of that, all of that is from Hashem. All of that is a gift from Hashem. I've done this before, Mom. I've done this before. Okay. So now Simcha is going to present the beautiful gift, Or Yehuda. Okay. Translate. This is my firstborn son. He is the first issue of his mother's womb, and the Holy One, blessed as he, has commanded to redeem him, as it is said. And those who must be redeemed from the age of a month are you to redeem according to your estimate five silver shekels in the shekel of the sanctuary, thank you so much, which is 20 gera. And it is said, Sanctify for me every firstborn, the first issue of every womb among the children of Israel. Both of man and of beast is mine. Okay, now I ask, which do you prefer? <laughs> to give me your firstborn son, who is the first issuance of his mother's womb. Rachel's getting nervous. <laughs> oh, or, or do you prefer to redeem him for five silver coins as you are required to do so by the Torah? We'll do that, right? <laughs> Where do I go? I wish to redeem my son. I present you with the cost of his redemption as I'm required to do by the Torah. Now, Simcha's going to pass me over the baby, and it's going to take out the five silver coins. I can take the jewelry back now. Yeah? Only a minute to the jewelry and the jewelry back. Okay. Beautiful. Mamash again. No one's afraid of Okay, one second. Now, Simcha, pick up those things. I can't get the papers, but pick up the paper. Sure. Simcha, you're going to fulfill the mitzvah of Pidyon Haben. You're going to make two brachot. The first bracha, Haben. And the second bracha, thanking Hashem for this momentous occasion. The first and only time you'll have the opportunity to fulfill this mitzvah, the bracha of Shehech And am I going to give it to you before or after? After. After. Okay. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedishan Ben Nesvata V'tzivanu Al Pidyon HaBen Amen! Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shachiyanu V'kiyimanu V'giyanu L'azman HaZer Amen! Amen! <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to make a Kenyan acquire the five silver coins. Let's open it up, make sure they're... Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Five plus. There's even plus, okay. I knew This is instead of that. This is an exchange for that. This is pardon because of that. And may this boy enter into life, into Torah, and into the fear of heaven. Amen. Amen. i put my coins down. They're still mine. They're still mine. <laughs> and before we recite the traditional Birkat Kohanim, I'd like to just offer a short personal blessing to Simcha and to Rachel, to this beautiful boy. You know, together, just under a month ago, we all shouted out at the Brit, Keshem Shenichnas La Brit, just as Maori Yehuda entered into the covenant of Avraham and received his Brit Milah, Keni Kanes Le Torah Luchba Ulmasim Tovi. May he enter the Torah, to the wedding canopy, and to good deeds. And just a moment ago, we blessed Maori Yehuda once again, just as he has entered into this mitzvah of Pidyon Haben, may he enter to Torah Chupa. Amen. And the question is, at the Brit, he didn't really have much of a choice. He entered into the Brit under duress, uh, out of force. He was forced into the comedy. And so too this afternoon, Maori Yudah doesn't really have much of a choice. He entered into this mitzvah of Pidyon Aben without a choice. So what are we blessing him with when we say that just as he entered into Brit Milan, into the Mitzvah of Pidyon Aben, so too he should enter the Torah Chupan Masim Tovim. It wasn't really his choice. And I believe the answer is found in the 19th chapter of Masachet Shabbat, where there Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel teaches that any mitzvah that the Jewish people accepted upon themselves with simcha, with joy, they continue to perform that mitzvah with joy. And the example that Rabban Shimon ben Gamliel gives there in the Gemara is the mitzvah of Brit Milah. And so the same way that the child enters into the mitzvah of Brit Milah, which by its very essence is a mitzvah of joy, we bless him, so too may he enter to Torah, Chupa Umasim Tovim with that same amount of joy. And so too this afternoon he entered into the mitzvah of Pidyon Aben with joy surrounded by friends and family, those who love him so much. May he enter to Torah, Chupa Umasim Tovim with joy and surrounded by those who love him and cherish him so much. Anyone who knows Simcha and Rachel knows that they have a Simcha Chaim. They possess a passion for life that is infectious. And it pervades all areas of their life. Professionally, personally, anyone has a personal relationship, a professional relationship, in their service of Hashem, they possess a passion and a zest for life. And my bracha is that Maor Yudah learned from his incredible parents and that he imbue his life and his Torah, his service of Hashem with that same passion and joy. Amen. Amen. I will conclude with the Birkat Kohanim and the Bracha of Borei Pri Hagechen. Amen. Amen. Coins. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh yeah. Hey, love. 